Hi, I'm Joe. I've been at AK for almost three years and currently I'm the lead product designer in our research and development department. Naturally, I find myself involved with many new and most of the special edition GPU water blocks, but we'll get back to those. In the last five months, we've seen several major releases from both the GeForce and Radeon brands. They really have raised the bar of what's possible with a single GPU, and that's fantastic news for us. It drives us to update and improve our products while giving all of you guys a great excuse to upgrade. But obviously, these opportunities bring new challenges. On the green side, there was a very loose reference design that each manufacturer adapted to suit their requirements. Instantly, that complicated our water block development as we must first figure out which PCBs are identical and which are similar enough to the reference design. Then start developing a block with all of those PCBs in mind before validating the fitment of everything individually. But to throw an even bigger curveball, the Founders Edition had its own custom PCB like nothing we've ever seen before. In addition to the reference and founders cards, we then had to start piling on all of the other custom designs, and now we're at 17 block designs for the 30 series in the first few weeks. By contrast, the 20 series had only 12 EK blocks in its entire lifespan. Team Red, on the other hand, made the initial rush much simpler for us, with one fixed reference design brought to market by several manufacturers. So we just had one PCB to deal with. Better still, the 6800, 6800 XT, and 6900 XT all use exactly the same board with different components populated. Once we had the completed block, it was validated on that one PCB and we were ready to go. That allowed us to confidently build a substantial stock of them for the launch day. However, now all of the custom PCB Radeon cards are also coming, and they must enter our queue of projects. The speed at which we can produce all of these blocks is not limited by the design time alone. Most critically, we need to gather all of the resources and get access to a graphics card that works. And as you may have noticed, that isn't as simple as it always was. Consequently, the availability of reliable information is influencing the order in which we tackle our projects, and the sheer number of new parts that must be sampled, inspected, tested, and then approved sets the pace which we can transition them into production. We have also been working hard to refine the design of our quantum vector water blocks for the latest generation of graphics cards. Taller VRM components and densely packed memory ICs on many of the designs pushed us towards using a much thicker copper for the blocks. This decision allowed us to eliminate the use of bridge plates completely and maintain a simple single O-ring design on all of the blocks. For the first time, our smallest block also has its signature quantum element inverted so that the standout feature does not waste pressure space in small form factor builds. Now we arrive back at the topic of design, let's take a closer look at the special edition water blocks. Both are unique in their own right, but the shared intention was to preserve the identity of the coolers which they replace. The Radeon edition has a rugged industrial design with high contrast lighting and sublime aluminium accents. The terminal and logo are positioned in the center, with five-axis CNC machining sculpting around them to highlight the perfect symmetry. Black acetal was the obvious choice, allowing the block to maintain a really low profile and signature EK minimalism. The unique design of the Founders Edition meant that the Vector FE water block had to be extremely radical. The idea to pack a terminal inside the PCB was an inspiration for everything that followed, giving a unique opportunity to glimpse directly through the entire block. Surrounding the terminal is an aluminium exoskeleton that mounts directly to the I.O. bracket and cradles the nickel and plexi block that's inside. An intricately machined backplate contrasts the smooth exterior while increasing the surface area for passive heat dissipation. To make sure that these two elegant designs were not interrupted, both the blocks have the majority of their screws concealed from the inside, and a black single-slot I.O. bracket helps them to blend seamlessly into the case. I hope this has been an insightful peek into our world of the latest GPU water blocks. We are very excited to see how you use our products in your dream PCs. Enjoy the expo.